Hola YouTubers, it is time for my October thoughts video. So I hope you guys are ready to hear how my October went because I am looking very forward to sharing that with you. Uh, I have more highlights and good that had happened to me in October than bad, which is a pretty good thing. And that's mostly courtesy of my job, my full-time job with Amazon. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay sorry about that I uh, had to move something out the way okay but anyway let's get to our word here so um okay now for the highlights of October okay now the first thing I'm proud to announce to you guys is that at, as of um October I mean I remember I told you guys the situation I was dealing with a, with a full time job I used to work for back in the springtime. Uh, right, right before I had quit in the summertime, that that adult daycare job. Well, uh, I fought against the asshole for that five hundred that he owed me that he never paid me for the time that I had worked, and I had got the money, the full five hundred dollars, and that's all courtesy of Laura, the wage and hour division. They helped me out a lot, even though the process took a very long time. So whenever I get into another situation with another employer again, I will be calling them. So they helped an awful lot. It was my first time using them, so I didn't know what to expect and how long it's going to take. But it took a very long time, like maybe more than two months. That's how long it took. But guess what I used the money for? Okay, now I'm proud to announce that uh, for, the, for the last, for almost a year or so, I had told you guys I was dealing with a strut problem for my car, also my Cadillac converter. But I I use almost the full five hundred. My well, the car repair was about four hundred fifty dollars. I used that to take care of my strut problem. So now I no longer have to go through tires ever again, at least for a while. <laughs> I wish I can say permanently. So even car repairs don't last forever either, sadly. Yes, but my. Strut problem is, is complete. I no longer have to report to you guys about the fact that I had to keep going through front tires. I can finally I can finally um go through with my plans of getting my back tires replaced because I had those same back tires ever since I drove my car off a lot a year ago. Which is sad by the way. But I can't wait to get the back tires replaced. <clears throat> They're still doing good, honestly, but so I want to get them changed. Especially before snow hits the ground again. So because I hate the winter time. Okay, but <clears throat> as far as the Cadillac converter goes, you guys, I'm I'm still I'm still working working out the money to get that to get that done. And another highlight I want to report for October is that, uh, okay, with the Amazon that I'm cur I'm currently working for, and this time permanently. <clears throat> okay, our rate our rate has started off as twelve seventy five an hour for a full time associate, but um, recently. Uh, news has been speculating. At first, I thought it was a rumor, but it actually became true. Our pay rate had it had went up from twelve seventy five to fifteen an hour. Uh, that means for that means for even even part part time associates as well, and as well as um see the seasonal people who come in to help us during the holiday season. So everybody is getting at least fifteen dollars an hour. But the bad part, since it's the holiday season, you guys, I'm going to be working an awful lot. Uh, I'm going to be suffering on my ass to, I'm going to be suffering on my ass until January when things start slowing down again. I already can't wait for that and it's November. <laughs> uh, I love my job, you guys. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, it's, it's just a lot of hard work and sometimes I can't, I can't take the pressure and the, and the stress that comes along with the job. I mean, that's why I was looking at my mom the other day when she was when she was mentioning when I first I got the job and I announced the news to her. You might she was telling me that I might want to consider getting promoted, uh, in 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 the future reference. And I'm looking at her like, I don't think there's no way that I could ever do that. Even for me being even for me being 25 and still young, so I don't see myself getting promoted anywhere because it's it's just too much work. It's too much stress. You you guys know what I mean. I mean, shoot, some of us young people can actually deal with the pressure. But, shoot, a majority of us, we're like, uh-uh, hell no. I don't want it. 
and plus you you be spending more time at work than you do in your own home it's like i mean you, you know that you know that saying you guys that that your job is basically your second home because you you spend you spend some or majority of your time there i mean i, I feel like i'm I feel like I live at Amazon because I, I work more because of the holiday season. At Amazon, we call it peak. But, oh, God. <clears throat> yeah, but those two highlights, uh, my, my stress getting done, I don't know how long I had to worry about but my tire situation. And my pay rate going up to $15 an hour. But because of the holiday season, I had to work extra, extra harder for shoot, until January. Oh, God, I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> Oh, sure, because I got pulled, um, sure, at least 50 hours a week. I mean, they, they usually announce it at the very last minute. And that's why I get so upset whenever it's the end of the week and I know I got a day off coming. And note when I say a day, literally one day off is all, is all I'm getting for a while. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> But as far as my personal situation goes, like, um, me still have my homegirl and, and still living at my spot. Uh, my relationship's still good. Uh, sure, but my, my relationship is still good, you guys, but, um, he's been very distant lately and it's been very hard for me. It's like he ha hasn't even been around, but in spirit, it's been very hard. <clears throat> Okay, sorry about that. Okay, but anyway, well, as as far as those highlights go, that's pretty much all I probably want to talk about for October. Well, except for the fact that, um, because of because of my job, I'm back up on my feet and I'm taking care of all my monthly expenses without any laybacks or issues. I mean, just like back in the summer, shoot, the summer was not my best friend. <laughs> I suffered like a motherfucker to make sure things had got done and paid on time. I mean, it is hard. I got, let me see. Yeah, I got, I got four expenses every month. I got, I got my phone bill, my rent. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I got my phone bill, my rent, my car insurance, and my car note. Those are the four expenses I got every month. So I thank the Lord that I'm able to keep up with all four of those things without, without uh, any 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 help or stuff like that i mean i mean so, i mean so, sometimes i get jealous of my roommate you guys i mean don't even get me wrong because because whenever whenever she had fell back uh she she has two people to help her out financially which is me and her father um uh, me i really don't have nobody to help me out financially even even if it's something serious except for one person in my life and that's my boyfriend everybody else is like nah no, can't help you with that. I'm going to need to be paid back right away. And you know, I can't do that. So that's why I don't bother asking. I mean, and that's the reason why I don't like asking for help, you guys, because I know really nobody in this world, not even my family members, even has my back like that, even when I want it or need it. That's why I don't like asking for help. I mean, even though I, I like having help, I don't like asking for it. I mean, you got you guys should know how that goes, especially if you're going through the situation that I have been into. Before I got to where I am now. Okay. Uh, but as as far as the as far as the bad goes, I mean, before my stress, I got replaced in the mid part of October. Uh, I was I was going through two more front tires, of course. But after the stress I got done, I said hallelujah. I don't have to worry about that for a while. Sure, but let's see how the car does when the snow hits the ground. I mean, rumor has it is that Michigan is not supposed to be hit the same way we were last year. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that's the case because we've been hit with a shitload of snow. It's been driving me crazy. I've been getting stuck literally everywhere. I mean, and, so, and sometimes when I try to put, when I try to shove myself out, uh, I still get stuck. I still get stuck in the same places, like especially residential streets and side streets. You can't even go through them without worrying about getting stuck, especially if your car sits so low. I went through that a lot last year. It's been driving me crazy. Like I said, the reason why I hate the snow so much is because I had to drive in it. But, very long story. 
But there were a couple of times last year where snow hit, hit hit us so so dang badly. I can't even get in and out my driveway. I can't even get, I can't even turn down residential streets. I can't even get off of res, residential streets without getting stuck. I mean, a couple of times that happened. A couple of strangers had had saw me trying to trying to push my car out. I'm trying to accelerate. I'm trying to accelerate so much where I see a message on my dashboard and my and my focus saying that my transmission was overheating because I kept putting pedal to the metal. I was trying to get myself unstuck. But people saw me had came by and was, and was trying to and was trying to push me out the spot that I got stuck in, and that happened at least five times in the last year. I'm like, damn dog. <laughs> yeah, but it's been driving me crazy. But I hope the snow isn't as bad as it was last year, because guys, I could swear to God, I was not gonna make it. I mean, I know it's gonna happen a lot from time to time, but still. Okay, well. As far as that, you guys, I think that's pretty much all I had wanted to talk about for my October thoughts video. Um, well, let me see. Is that it? Well, actually, I didn't really do I re I didn't really do much for the month of October except for w working home and all of that stuff. Uh, so if I think about it, I might add it in in, in the in the description below this video for you guys. It'll just be right there as, as you're scrolling down and looking. So don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Well, until then, if you haven't subscribed to my page already, you guys, make sure you do that before you go. If you have a YouTube page, if you don't, better make one because I will find you. <laughs> okay, and make sure you check out my, my old projects until I have new ones to come. I'm thinking about adding another segment to my page uh, as of January 2019, but I'm not going to say what it is just yet. Probably, um, probably from our December thoughts video, I'll reveal it to you. But until then, it's hush hush, secret secret. <laughs> I mean, unless I know you personally, maybe I'll share it with you. But you better not put put it on social media if I do that. <laughs> I'm dead serious though. I may be laughing, but I am serious. Okay, make sure you comment and share my content as well. It's very much appreciative. Like I said, if you ever wanna, uh, if you ever wanna talk sometime, be friends and um. If you want to sub back, just ask me. I do not bite. But I must warn you, I am a picky person. If I don't like your content, I might end up flagging you or unsubscribing you. I'm just letting you know that now. I'm a very picky person. Okay, but until then, God bless you guys. I'm going to leave you guys for the rest of your day. Until then, I'm going to let you guys with a peace out. And I'll see you guys for my November thoughts video. Oh, and I'm taking my hair down soon, by the way, you guys. The hairstylist who had did this, I was very disappointed in her. I mean, I appreciate her taking the time out to, to come to me at, at a very late at a very late time in the day. Uh, or, or Earlier, I mean, I was going to say earlier. I mean, in the end part of September, I think that's I think that's when I had got my hair done. Or it was the early part of October. Well, I had to go back to my Instagram page to, to, to see the first post. I'm pretty sure it was the end of September when I had got my hair done. But, yeah, I'm taking my hair down pretty soon, you guys. The stylist who did this, she was very disappointed. Because, um, shoot, in the last month that my, that my hair has been sold in, I had to fix at least three parts on the left side of my head that she had fucked up. I mean, she pinned me down pretty tight. But what I had found out was she was rushing and didn't bother to... To, to to knot it all down on the left side. I fixed I fixed the back part of my hair, the middle part, and then the top where it's sticking up just a little bit. I'm taking this down and, and getting a, and getting another sewing redone by someone else who's probably more experienced. I'm hoping I don't get disappointed with this one. But it's not gonna be a sewing this time. It's gonna be a quick weave. So sure, I can't wait. I can't wait to get my hair redone. <laughs> oh and also for reasons that I had I had mixed my my human hair bundles, the the one I, the ones I had used last year, you guys. I'm pretty sure some of you have remembered. Um, shit with with some of these clip ins that that my sister had gave me for my birthday last year. I think it was last year. But it's it's looking funky, man. This is why I don't like synthetic hair. I mean, human hair always lasts longer and it's more sleekier. But so the thing I don't like about human hair is. Is is whenever it gets too hot outside, the humidity the humidity hits it to where it actually looks like synthetic hair. But heat doesn't ruin it though. You can always refix it and refix it. Yeah, but I'm taking this crap down soon. But 
Okay, God bless you guys. I'll see you guys for my November thoughts video. Ugh, sorry. Bye.